If you hear a strange noise at night, it's likely you can't sleep again until you find out what that noise was. You'll feel uneasy until you resolve the issue, essentially ending the story. Once you discover that it was only the cat that was climbing through the window, the story is complete and you can get back to sleep. People need closure. They need to end the story. Think about the last time you witnessed a road accident. Probably, you couldn't help yourself from looking, right? Your mind was trying to make sense of what was going on so that you could learn not to make the same dangerous mistake that they did. When people experience events that weigh heavily on them emotionally, they often can't stop thinking about it, and it becomes mentally exhausting as they rehearse over and over again what happened. But why do people do this? Well, people have a desire to make sense of the world around them. When well, you don't close the story, it locks people in, and they can't stop thinking about it until you complete the story. Stuff isn't going to go viral if you can't hold people's attention. That's the power of anticipation. When your target customers can't stop thinking about you, The power of storytelling in affecting people's well-being can be seen in the way that clinical psychologists use it to treat patients suffering from mental trauma. Psychologists believe that mental trauma is not just about the events that made the distress, but how the person dealt with the events afterwards. In other words, how the victim interprets and constructs the story of what happened. Distressful events such as divorce or a significant career setback caused the sufferer to obsessively run through their minds what happened in an attempt to find causes and make sense of it all. The distress is caused from people's inability to find a satisfactory ending to the story, since the facts don't appear to make sense to them. Psychologists in psychotherapy sessions get the sufferer to tell their story, or sometimes write it down, to help them simplify what happened and therefore help them understand. In other words, to complete the story. A story is basically an event that's supported by a beginning that adds context to the event and an ending that resolves any conflict created by the event. A story has a beginning, a middle, and an end. Todorov's narrative framework is a framework of three parts. There's an equilibrium, a disruption, and a resolution. A story begins with an equilibrium where everything is normal and as it should be. Then an event happens, usually some kind of disruption that shakes things up and is out of the ordinary. The story then concludes with a resolution to fix the disruption and bring things back to normal. Most books, movies, and even songs follow this formula. It's the basis of storytelling. Anticipation occurs when you know the disruption is coming, but you don't have enough information to know what that disruption will be and how it will be resolved. It's better to drop the viewer into the scene right away, almost like dropping them into the middle of a conversation or a crime in progress. There's a quote from Aaron Sorkin, the famous screenplay writer. Don't show who the character is, show what the character wants. I think it's the same with advertising. Don't focus on the people in the story. They're only there to help you tell the story. Focus on the story. The problem with marketing content, particularly video ads, is capturing and holding people's attention. You need to hook people in straight away and hold their attention. Otherwise, people get bored quickly and they move on. One of the easiest and most effective ways to grab and hold people's attention is by using anticipation. When a comedian begins to tell a joke, we find ourselves guessing what the punchline might be. If we guess the punchline before the comedian reveals it, the joke flops. But if the punchline comes as a clever surprise, we find it entertaining. A joke that we know the answer to is really funny. People feel anticipation when waiting for the punchline of a humorous situation. 
So many viral movies use anticipation to lock in people's attention. The trick is to provide enough information so that the viewer knows a disruption is about to happen without revealing what the disruption might be. You could, for example, suggest something dangerous is about to happen. The cliché of the young kids entering a deserted house on a hill suggests all kinds of danger, and therefore intrigue, and anticipation. Pub Lou Shocker is a super viral that has over 13 million views on YouTube. The advertisement is a public service announcement about the dangers of driving while drunk. But you don't know that before you start watching it, you find that out at the end. The ad features a prank that's played out in a pub bathroom. Men enter the bathroom, do their business, and as they're washing their hands, the realistic head of a body unexpectedly crashes through the bathroom mirror from behind, like someone would smash against their windshield in a car accident. The men are clearly shocked, with reactions ranging from falling backwards to running out the door. The movie creates a strong emotional reaction, shock and awe, because people are expecting some sort of disruption. Why else would hidden cameras be following people into a bathroom? The anticipation of what the disruption might be acts like a rubber band that, once released, exponentially increases the strength of the emotions, in this case, fear and disgust. Creating anticipation is a powerful way to not only hold people's attention, but also increase the strength or arousal of the emotions. <laughs>